Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 016 underscore DIAB underscore N. Click the file tab, hover the mouse cursor to save as, click projects. Rename this file to 00 underscore 017 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. In today's tutorial, we're going to start to model the roof of this building. Go to the roof one, view, zoom in into this area. As you can see, nothing in nothing is appear in this view. Go to the property palette, click the down arrow and change the other lid to first floor and move the mouse cursor away. That's where you can see the roof on the, the building on the background. Go to the architectural tab and select the roof command. Click the edit tab button. Click duplicate. Rename this roof to a generic roof 25 millimeter. Click OK. Click the edit structure and change the value to 25 millimeter. Click OK. Click OK to close the dialog box. Now select the pick line button and change the offset to 750 millimeter. Move the mouse cursor away. Make sure that you place a check mark on the define slope option in the option bar. Click into an empty area in the, in the drawing. Zoom in into this area. Avoid the mouse cursor into the face of this wall and click. Click. Go to the modify panel and select the trim extend to corner. Select this sketch line, this sketch line, this sketch line, this sketch line. Select this sketch line, this sketch line, this sketch line, this sketch line. Click the green check mark to end the roof command. This roof is a little bit complex, but if you take your time and start to grade the roof step by step, you will find it you will find it easy to create this roof. Now let's go to the default 3D view and see the result. Select the roof and click edit footprint. Click the X button to close this view to return to the previous view. Now select this view and look at the slope. The slope is 30 degree. Actually this is not our intention. I don't want to use degree for the slope option. Now I'm going to click the green check mark again. Go to the Manage tab, Setting Panel, and click the Project Unit. This brings the Project Unit dialog box. In the Sloop section, click the down arrow. Click this arrow and change to Rise to 12. Click OK. Click OK. Now select the roof. You see the Sloop change. Click into this area. Delete all this value and enter 9. We want to use 9 to 12. But all you need to do, enter the first input and Revit will enter the rest. Now the value change. Let's go to the default 3D view so that you can see this how these changes affect the roof. If I select the roof again and change this value to 12, it means 12 to 12. You see the height of the roof increase. If I change this value 6 to 12, the height of the roof decrease. I can even change it further to 4 to 12. I'm going to change it back to 9 to 12. Then click the edit roof print footprint again. Select the face of this wall. Pull down the control key and click this face. Now go to the property palette and uncheck define loop. The loop is not going to slope into any sketch line that you don't define a loop. I'm going to move the mouse cursor away to see the result. Now click the, click the green check mark. You see the area that I did select change from slope to gable. Click the X button. For the moment, let's go and change the view range of this view. Click the scroll bar and click the edit view range. Change this value to 60,000 millimeter or 60 meter and change this value to 50 meter. 
Now right click the reference plane, select grid similar, draw a reference plane from this point across the building. Go to the quick access toolbar and select the align dimension command. Zoom in and select the core face of this wall and the core face of this back wall. Click this reference plane and click to place the dimension. Click the EQ button to center the reference plane. Click the modify button. Now right click this reference plane, grid similar. Go to draw panel and select the pick line command. Enter offset of 2850 millimeter. Offset this reference plane down and offset it up. Click this arrow to this circle to move the reference plane at the back to differentiate it from the main reference plane. Click on the circle and move it all the way back to the left. Click the modify button. Select this reference plane, click this circle and try to align it to, to this reference plane. Click the circle at the far right and drag it all the way to the left. Select the roof and click edit footprint. Now go to the modify panel and select the split co command, split element command. Click, make sure that the delete inner segment is unchecked. Click this around this reference plane and click around this point. Select the trim extend multiple elements. Select this reference plane, click the sketch line and click this sketch line. Click into the drawing area. Select, click the reference plane, click the sketch line and click the sketch line. Now this sketch line, these sketch lines are meet to the reference plane perfectly. Click the modify button. Now select this segment of this sketch line and uncheck define slip. Go to the modify panel, draw panel and select the slope arrow. Start a slope arrow from the end point of this sketch line and move it to the center of this reference plane. With the slope arrow still selected, go to the property palette. Click the, the down arrow against specify and select slope. And change the slope value to 9 to 12. With the slope arrow still selected, go to the modify panel and select the mirror pick axis. Pick this reference plane to mirror this slope arrow to the other side. Click the green check mark to see the result. Go to the default 3D view and see the roof the result so far all right the first part of our roof is being greeted just as i was saying this roof is a little bit complex but with a little practice and divide the roof into segments you can get exactly what you want and i'm going to assure you if you take your time you go through this tutorial you will never tire to draw any type of roof that you want to draw again I'm going to end this video. In the next video, I'm continuing to model this roof. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friends. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.